Man, this some more bullshit. Absolutely. Absolutely. What the hell? MCZX here. I got some breaking news for you regarding Neville. Apparently, Neville may have asked for his release last night and may have walked out before last night's episode of WWE Raw. This is not good. You remember the last guy who walked out or didn't even show up for Raw was CM Punk, and we know how that story ends. So, hopefully, hopefully, this isn't true, but it's a rumor. It's a rumor. The reason I may think it's real because of the source. Pro Wrestling Sheets' Ryan Satin, he hasn't been wrong. He hasn't been wrong. He's been spot on for 98% of the time. Uh, he said a Twitter account using the handle Russell Vos tweeted today that saying Neville quit. And most people we've spoken with have backed that, but nothing's been officially announced or confirmed at this point. It was also noted that the release requests aren't immediately granted so it could happen, but may not be official yet. This is all coming from WrestleZone.com. It's unknown if it would be related at this point or not, but an earlier report from ProWrestlingInsider.com noted that Neville was scheduled to get a title shot against Enzo Amore, but at the last minute had Kalisto challenging and winning the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, this is going to suck. It'd be a huge blow to WWE if and if Neville is leaving. I'm having a problem with WWE getting world-class talent and underutilizing them. Don't pull a TNA. You're the number one wrestling company in the world. I know you can screw up sometimes, but you shouldn't be screwing up when you get these guys in here. You should be pushing them to the moon and make them happy, not have them lose to some rat face by getting kicked in the dick. That's not fair. It's some old bull, and I don't, I don't like it. It's it's not cool. Could you imagine if Kenny Omega came to WWE during that Royal Rumble and probably doing a, a sweeping gimmick because he's the cleaner, or he'd be Mr. Clean, Kenny Omega? Could you imagine that? Or something just as worse. Have Marty Scroll be uh, a doctor. <laughs> Look at Gallows and Anderson. Look at Gallows and Anderson, they're my favorite example. They're, they're a world-class tag team, and they're jobbers. Canellis is a jobber. Bobby Roode's weird now. Shinsuke Nakamura is not even the King of Strong Style anymore. If Neville's leaving, fine. It's going to be a sad day for WWE, but it's going to be a glorious day for wrestling fans because Neville can go anywhere and do anything he wants, just like Austin Aries. Can't believe they screwed up Austin Aries, but they did. And it's depressing to know that the wheel's just going to keep on turning. Nothing's going to change. CM Punk said it best. It's just a cog in the wheel, and the wheel's going to keep on turning. And that's what's going to happen. But, guys, I'm going to go back to watching SmackDown Live now. Neville may be gone, but it's just a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. See you later for the SmackDown Live rundown. Bye.